2013, David Jones launched his autumn and winter fashion campaign. The campaign showcased David Jones' Australian designer portfolio for the season. The campaign was created by MNC Saatchi and was headlined by model and David Jones ambassador Miranda Kerr. Coinciding with the 175th anniversary of the store's opening, the campaign used David Jones' 1940s logo and added since 1838 to the tagline. Designer clothes in high-end fashion are examples of specialty goods. Often these goods are priced higher than similar items, serving the same basic need but lacking the special characteristics the customer desires. The advertisers will need to know how to use different positioning strategies and appeals to target this audience. Currently the market leader of high-end department stores is David Jones. Maya is a close second. Department stores have only 11.1% of the market share. David Jones' target audience is within this 11.1%. The target audience of the autumn and winter campaign were consumers interested in high-end fashion. Overall, there was a strong focus on women's fashion and designer brands. The largest consumer group responding to this would be females with a high income. High income earners are individuals earning $180,001 and over. These people are likely to have sufficient disposable income to afford luxury goods. Designer clothes are expensive goods, so the targeted individual would be a high income earner or a member of a high income family with enough disposable income to afford luxuries. Greater percentages of high income earners reside in Greater Sydney, in New South Wales, and Brisbane and Queensland. Aspirations of the target individual may include a desire to stand out from the crowd. They want to be dressed in the latest trends and fashions. The individual may be in a top industry job and feel the need to dress to impress. The obvious consumer insight behind this campaign was to present the consumer with a showcase of winter and autumn trends. The use of supermodel Miranda Kerr as the campaign's spokesperson may be a way to convey the impression that David Jones knows what is popular and the public should look to them for fashion advice. David Jones has positioned its product through this campaign by quality. The use of the international supermodel Miranda Kerr to model the clothes reflects the image of high quality. The evident advertising objectives in this David Jones campaigns are as follows. To measure the first objective, marketers compare investment options on the return of investment. Brand awareness can be measured by social media interaction, impressions, and reach and frequency. The broad campaign idea was the celebration of the 175th anniversary of David Jones and highlighting its history with runway trends. All the advertisements in this campaign projected this idea and were very consistent. Sales for the period of the campaign were worse than previous years. CEO Paul Zara also stated that women's wear did not perform as well as sales in other areas. Although the campaign was not successful in terms of sales, brand awareness was achieved. The sheer volume of media outlets used by the campaign would have exposed the brand to a large amount of people. The message strategy statement used by the creative directors of this campaign is as follows. This statement uses multiple message strategies. It contains evidence of preemptive, positioning, and brand image strategies. David Jones has used its 175th anniversary, that marks it as the world's oldest department store, to its advantage to create a preemptive strategy. This statement has also been used to position David Jones in the consumer's mind, but distinguishing itself from the competition. David Jones has also positioned itself with the product. Many of the designer labels presented in this campaign were only available at David Jones at the time. The autumn winter campaign was also an example of a company selling brand image. The big idea was the use of the new tagline, was, is, always, since 1838, and the use of the 1940s David Jones logo. This tagline logo and 1920s stylistics were used in unison to make the message strategy relevant and engaging to the consumer. This let consumers know that David Jones were operating during this time and that David Jones is an experienced company. The unique selling proposition of this campaign was the claim made by David Jones that its new season catalogue included Australia's best designers. A similar statement is used in David Jones' mission statement. Overall, there was a positive tone to the campaign. MNC Saatchi Regional Creative Director Tom McFarlane explained that the commercial was big, bold and sassy. The song used in the commercial was definitely a seductive rock song. This was used to market the designer clothes to the user and the image that comes along with owning these clothes. The campaign tapped into the key target insights. The consumers are looking for designer label clothing and the social status that comes with them. The creative directors have presented the designer clothes in a stylistic and attractive approach that meets the consumer's needs. This campaign used a combination of two emotional appeals as the basis of the message. Advertising designer clothes and using Miranda Kerr instead of status advertising appeal. Dressing Miranda Kerr in these designer brands shows the status of these clothes. 
the 175th anniversary was the nostalgia appeal. This appeal targeted the consumer's feelings about the brand. These appeals have been executed by a celebrity endorsement execution technique. The decision to use fashion ambassador Miranda Kerr as the endorser of the product was made because celebrities have influence over consumers. One recommendation would be to consider the use of one message strategy. Utilizing one appeal and executional technique may have improved the success of the campaign. Here, David Jones used the campaign to promote both its brand name and its product. Perhaps two messages in this campaign affected the consumer ability to process a central message. It did not affect any attitudes. This campaign used a combination of digital and traditional media. On February 6th, David Jones held a runway show featuring designer clothes featured in the campaign. In terms of paid media, the campaign was featured in print executions in high-end fashion magazines and outdoor advertising. This campaign covered an extensive list of media, but there was no indication of a social media aspect. Australians spend more time on social media than any other country. Perhaps if a social media aspect was implemented, the campaign would have reached a larger target market.